Hey everyone, I hope this video finds you well. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about what I've done so far in my skincare routine. Um, I blogged about this earlier, but last night I washed my face with an exfoliator. Um, the Simple brand exfoliator it has really, really tiny microbeads, so it didn't really dry out my face or really irritate my skin. I probably shouldn't have used that because exfoliators tend to really like aggravate the cystic acne. But I did anyway. I don't know. It's just, you have a new product and you can't wait to try it. So I used that and then after the shower, um, I took some advice from my friend Christian and I took a little bit of coconut oil on a hot rag and I rubbed it into my face. I didn't cake it on, just rubbed it in. And I woke up this morning and my skin was really soft, but, um, I mean, of course, the acne didn't go away in the middle of the night, but I noticed that my skin was very moisturized. It wasn't dry and it wasn't too oily in the morning. And last night, I also put tea tree oil. Here's the coconut oil. Bought it at Walmart. Um, the tea tree oil I put on just the problem spots. And um, I didn't really see too much of a difference, but in one night, I wouldn't really expect one anyway. So I got up this morning, and I was planning to come to Morgantown, and I'm here right now. And I said, you know what? I'm going to call my dermatologist and see if I can go in and get cortisone shots in these cysts. And I called at 8 a.m. As soon as they opened, I would call at 8 o'clock on the dot. And I said, listen, I'm going out of town. Um, these cysts formed over my face within the past few days. What can I, can I come in and get a shot? And she said, if you can be here by 8.30. So I sped to the dermatologist like a speed racer. And I went in there and I waited for like an hour and a half. And I had a really terrible experience. I don't know about you guys going to your dermatologist. Um, I've been to a few different ones. But this morning I just, I was sitting in the chair and the doctor came in. She introduced herself, but she didn't even look at my face, you know. She didn't come up. She didn't see up close my, my uh, problem areas at all. She just sat down in her chair and started writing prescriptions for me and asking me what I was taking right now. Well, like, obviously what I'm taking isn't really working that well, except it could have been like a change in my diet or hormones or something like that. So she wrote me a prescription and then she tried to leave the room and I was like, hold up, I need shots in my face. So she went and got the cortisone and she shot all of these different areas with the stuff. And this is me. This is me after. You can't really see it. There it is. Uh, okay, whatever. I'll just post the picture. Um, Band-aids all over my face. But um, I had one right here on my neck. It is just, they're still red. But over the, I mean, over the next day, I expect them to be not inflamed anymore. They'll probably be almost gone. The marks may still be there, but they won't be swollen. So that's good. If you ever need emergency, whatever, get a cortisone shot. And um, I just want to thank all of you for the overwhelming like support you've given me for starting this blog, but really all of your suggestions related to diet and related to um, cleansing. Um, I got a message from a friend today, Austin, Austin McKittrick, and he gave me his entire routine for his face. And what he told me to try um, that he'd experienced, you know, he'd been through the same, trying all different kinds of products, but what he really suggested was implementing vegetables into your diet. He said that he looks at that as his medicine, which is a really great way of thinking about it because we really want to try and tackle the problem of acne from the inside out. So really taking charge of what you put into your body, I feel like is really, it's, it's becoming apparent that that's probably a really good fix to acne is controlling how the body functions on the inside and what's going into it. So I'm going to try to eat a lot more vegetables. Like I said, I'm cutting out dairy, but Austin also suggested um, using brown sugar as a scrub at night and then using a honey, um, a honey mask to moisturize. He said that he puts on the honey before he gets in the shower, does all of his shower routine and then rinses it off with cold water. So those are two both natural, um, excuse me, those are two natural ways of cleansing your face. He said the honey provides moisture, this honey works as a moisturizer and also kind of gets rid of the dark marks too, which is a huge plus because I have a lot of those. So um, that's the update. I will post the picture of me from the doctor's office today and I hope to see some more improvements. Uh, also, I accidentally ate cheese today. I didn't mean to. I got it on a burrito. It happens, you know. All right, well, thanks for watching. I'll keep you updated. Thanks a lot, guys.